Good evening, we're back with another unboxing video and the next project I'm probably going to be working on. Uh, this is the Macross 172nd scale MBR04 Mark VI Destroyed Tomahawk. Uh, as I said, from Macross. Also, the design was copied by um, Battletech and it's known as the Warhammer in that universe. This is from Airy. This is the very first kit of this sort of mech that came out, part 1982. Uh, there's been a bunch in both 72nd scale and other scales since then. Um, apparently the build quality is better. Um, don't really care. I wish to thank Anthony Goodman for uh, supplying me with this kit. Um, it's been a holy grail kit. There's a few of these I remember being uh, just a lad. Um, and seeing these and I never had a chance to get one so we're gonna do a quick unboxing here and uh, we'll show you what's going on so there's the box top you've got your side display showing some of the details and the other side some artwork showing the details nothing on the back and basically the top and bottom are just same as before so let's get her opened up and have a look so, I have taken it out of the bags just to make life a little bit easier. Uh, everything's nicely packed, but we'll go through everything and uh, we'll show you. So, the first sprue I have up here is obviously some of the main body assemblies. Um, considering its age, it actually looks very good. Uh, all the injector pin marks, obviously, and the sink marks are inside. Uh, very crisp from what I can see here. Not a ton of detail, but that was pretty normal for the time. Uh, you can have a lot of fun fun with it, I'm sure. Let me hold it that way. You kind of get the idea there. That's the first sprue. And then the second sprue is some of the hardware, the business end of things, the giant auto cannon, etc. Uh, missile launchers there. Some other guns there. Nice, again, nice n nice detail, very basic molding, very basic detail, but it'll build up nice and quick. So yeah, all in all, very nice. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, next we have, I'll just dig through the instructions here. This is the next sprue, slightly different color. Again, more details. These were designed, uh, you didn't need to add paint if you didn't want to. So hence the two color, kind of like the old Matchbox kits. But again, very nice and crisp molding. You know, very, very nice. Uh, looks like it'll uh, come off quite well, the sprues. Nicely, uh, nicely detailed. I don't see any imperfections from what I can tell on this initial look. And then we have, as typical, we've got the little... black little sprocket things allow you to move the uh, mech's legs and stuff like that. It's part of the like, almost snap type fit that you see with Bandai Gundams, etc. Then we have decals and instructions and a few other things here. So we'll look at the decals first. Uh, these are showing their age. Um, but I might put them in the sun a bit. I might get some something out of it. We'll see, unless I do a what if. You know, not that I've ever done that before, right? So those are the decals. Again, a little bit of yellowing. And then we have a promotional in Japanese about the Macross Saga, including, this is the part I like, including some of the other kits you can get in the series, the Valkyrie. Um, the Archer, you know, whatever you want, the old uh, Commander's Pod, the SDF, and some nice looking stuff. I'd love to get these as well. They're all, most of them are in the same scale, either 72nd or 100, a few are 100 only. Uh, but yeah, very, very nice. Then we have the instructions, again, all in Japanese. But uh, you can uh, run it through Google Translate and it will definitely give you a hand. Uh, just a couple of pages. Assembly is very simple, as you can see here. 
with the snap tight fit of these. Looks like the arm weaponry goes on first, the arms, everything's in sub-assemblies and they all go together at the end, culminating in a top and bottom assembly, allowing you to pivot and uh, do some maneuvering of the various joints and whatnot. And then decal placement and a painting guide if you wish. Some possible things are all sorts of ideas of camouflage and stuff like this. I know from playing the Battletech game, they use this as one of the unlicensed ones and a uh, lot of fun schemes you can do with this so it should be a lot of fun so that is the tomahawk from the macross series in 170 second scale it's going to be probably my next project gonna have fun with this as normal don't forget uh, you can see more photos and stuff like that at blackfire.ca don't forget to uh, like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And, of course, there is the Scale Model Podcast. So this is Stuart uh, wishing you all to be safe. Thank you and be well.